Time is running out for single-use vape products. In 10 days' time, it'll be illegal to sell the disposable devices unless they comply with a raft of new rules. It's prompted retailers to start selling them at heavily reduced prices, with some even encouraging users to stock up. Lucy Thompson explains. In Tateport Town, uh, Tateport Grandy. Don't mind what the sticker says. At this Auckland vape store, you can now purchase three disposable vapes for as little as $10. Thank you. It's not the first time that legislation and regulation is, in this area has had unintended consequences. The new laws were designed to discourage youth vaping by making single-use products less accessible. Instead, stores are advertising them at 60% off, telling users to stock up while they still can. It might have been better to phase out, leave uh, the retailers to run down their stockpiles rather than doing it you know, on the 21st of December. The Ministry of Health has said as long as they're following advertising rules, there's nothing stopping retailers from selling discounted vapes or giving them away. Despite this, a snapshot survey shows the proportion of Year 10s vaping regularly has decreased for the second year in a row, down almost 2% to 164 but it's little comfort for one expert. Daily vaping remains around 10%. We are still seeing huge inequities in vaping prevalence by ethnicity. So I think these results do nothing to reassure us. Janet Hook says the incoming restrictions don't address the widespread availability of the products or encourage their use as a tool to help people stop smoking cigarettes. It's really important that vaping products are sold from fewer outlets and that they're sold by people who have training in smoking cessation. The new national-led government has suggested some changes, including harsher penalties for sales to under 18-year-olds. But for now, vaping has never been cheaper. Lucy Thompson, News Hub.